Hey everybody, it's Matthew. Welcome back to the channel. We're going to do another musing today. We're going to talk about some stuff today. And what we are going to talk about today is the phenomenon of posthumous artist releases or, you know, music that has come out from an artist after they've passed away. And this could be either a solo artist doing it or somebody that was like a singer in a band passing away and then the band continuing to release material subsequently. The stuff like that, there's been some debates of that stuff, I think, through the years of when a person's passed away, should you release anything that was left then? Is that in poor taste to do so? Or is it okay because fans are still going to want that stuff to be released and things like that? So, you know, there's kind of that back and forth with it and sometimes nobody's really sure and stuff starts to get in a gray area when all when stuff from a dead artist continues to come out from the estate and some people start to look at it as are they actually doing this for a good reason or are they just trying to make money off of it and i mean we've seen recent stuff with that a lot of big artists passing away you know uh, michael jackson was in uh, 2009, and then of course Chris Cornell and Chester Bennington, and you know, dozens of other people have passed away, you know, and have had posthumous releases in recent years. Um, I think the main thing to think about is if the artist has something completed that had the intent to be released at some point, and you know, their death prevented them from getting around to it or something then I think in that case, it's probably okay. There's some stuff, you know, that Michael Jackson did in the years leading up to his death that was never released, that ended up being released later, which is not a big deal. And then there was some old stuff from the 80s that ended up getting released, which, you know, already completed, send it out, it's fine. And then case of, like, Chris Cornell, you know, his uh, album of covers he did, was released in 2021 ever but the thing about that was the songs were already completed and recorded and ready basically ready to go you know he even had a suggestion for how he wanted to sequence it already at that point even though it can come out until four years after he had passed away so that came out and then there's the stuff that's still yet to be done with the remaining Soundgarden material you know that's another video talk about and then of course recently Linkin Park releasing some songs they did uh, back when Chester was still around you know that ended up never being released released now with of course the complete vocals already available and things like that nothing had to be done or edited or made up to try to you know patch something together this was stuff that was already made already intended to go out and subsequently does eventually come out, even though the singer or the artist had already passed on. And then there's stuff like what Queen did with the their new song with Freddie Mercury. Now that one, I think, is probably was best not being released because the vocals were not finished for the song. So they had to just copy-paste vocals in sections just to repeat because they weren't finished. They also auto-tuned him, which that should be a real big no-no if an artist or singer has passed away. Like, if you're going to publish something in their work, it has to be what it is. You shouldn't alter it, shouldn't do anything past what their intent was. And they auto-tuned it, which is probably one of the worst things you can do to an iconic uh, vocalist is auto-tune something, and they still thought that was okay to release. Now, I mean, I'm not as big of a Queen fan as some people and things like that, but that's kind of gross in a way to do that. I know people may have wanted it, but to take incomplete material and then correct it and then release it just feels pretty wrong in my opinion, and I don't know why they thought that was a good idea to release that and that's kind of where we're getting at that i don't know any a whole lot of other instances of the posthumous uh, music releases this is just the stuff i happen to keep up with like i said complete material that's ready to go that's fine 
that's probably what the artists wanted. They wanted that to come out. It just, for whatever reason or another, it never did, or they were not able to get around to it because they passed away right before they were going to, you know, release that material out into the world. But if it's not complete and you have to correct it, and if you do correct it, that's probably best not released. Just leave it how it lies. Which brings up the topic of AI music generation and AI voice training and things like that, which gets us into some weird territory of being able to take existing music from an artist or existing uh, vocals and things like that, feed it into an AI uh, program. And then it, after doing that, so uh, however many times it will eventually come up with a model that can copy that. Now, when we get into copying singers that have passed away, I think we get into weird territory because I mean, that's fun to play around with. That's fine. Whatever. If you're not going to release it, you're just going to have fun with it. Okay. That's yours to do what you want with, but actually using it to practically create music, I think is probably philosophically the wrong thing to do because if a person is passed on, it feels weird to take something they've already done and try to create something new that sounds like them. And then to have that released would be pretty disgusting because it's like, you know, that's not part of the body of work of a person. You've taken their body of work, created a model, and then allow that model to run. Obviously, a person did not interfere with the creation of that music that the AI did. The AI did that on its own. But it's still like sounding eerily like a person when it's not their work. But, you know, sending that out like it is, that would be... Mm -mm dearly really weird and i don't think that is would be an appropriate thing to do or an appropriate use of the new technology and i really hope record labels don't decide that they can do that because they might <laughs> they might say oh michael jackson's been gone a long time but people still really like his music why don't we just make an ai song that's not okay <laughs> that's really creepy and greedy and weird and just no, man. I mean, it's kind of hard to put into words how that feels gross, but I mean, most people I think can understand why trying to create the same sound of a person with AI and then putting that out would be a pretty big breach of ethics. I think most people have enough of a moral compass to figure out why that's kind of messed up. But anyway, is anyone going to actually take the work of somebody else, make an AI model and then try to make something and pass it on, pass it and put it out into the world or without keeping it to themselves, which keeping it to yourself, like I said, that's fine. But if you try to put it out, that's where it gets weird and creepy. Now, hopefully no one will do that. I think the most likely route with that is people will just use AI to make completely new things that don't sound like people. And you just would tell it a style to do and it wouldn't like do a person's voice or a specific person's voice or anything. You could just make up a model of a bunch of different things and smush it together to come out with that instead of just, you know, making it copy somebody else's voice. But anyway, you know, there have been a lot of posthumous releases of music and most of them, I think are good and coming from a decent place, you know, not a totally objectively morally wrong place or anything like that. I think most people have had good intentions with that stuff and tried to not go too far out of what the original artist, you know, might have had the intention of doing. Some things have and that gets dangerous. And I think some at some point we may need to put a handle on that and say, okay, at this point, this person's been gone this long. This is probably enough. And kind of just put that in the closet and be done with it. And don't dig it back out. Don't keep beating that horse. Don't keep trying to squeeze money out of it. Just leave it where it lies and be done. Anyway, just some thoughts on that 
in today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Like and subscribe if you did, of course. Leave a comment down below and leave your thoughts of what you think about this kind of topic. And of course, with that, I'll be seeing you guys next time for another video. We should have another Magic of video coming out so you guys can learn another fun new tuning next time. And I'll see you guys later. Have a good one.